am so excited. We headed to Chateau Elan today, y'all. It's up 85. It's north of Atlanta. It's a winery. Um, it's a staycation. You can stay at the end or you can stay at the spa. Or you can stay in one of their uh, little villas. Um, you, it's also a uh, winery. So, of course, you can go up there and taste wine, do their little wine tour. I mean, just anything that's just nice, chilled, and relaxing, they have it. So that's where we are headed this weekend. Corey surprised me with the whole Mother's Day <laughs> trip or weekend. Uh, so I'm going to uh, vlog some of this for you guys. I'm going to show you the room, uh, show you some of the activities we're doing uh, for this weekend. It's going to mainly be chill, but I'm just gonna, still going to show y'all a little bit about what we got uh, planned and what we got going on. I'm so excited because I'm team no kids this weekend. Yeah! <laughs> So uh, here we go. Hey y'all, yes, yes, we are on the way. I am ready to do exactly what my shirt says. Mama needs wine. I'm ready to go to this winery. I'm ready to kick back and relax with my glass of wine. It's about 3.06 in the afternoon. I believe that Chateau Lange check-in is at 4 or 4.30? Is at uh, 4.30. Uh, I figure by the time we get through this traffic, it'll be about 4.30 and it'll be time for us to check in. Of course, I'm gonna give y'all the room tour. Well and also a tour of um the gate and everything when we come in so y'all will see all of that as well and i will check back in with y'all once we get to chateau Alain. spa at the Chateau Alain winery and a couple of things that I will say about this room is it does not come with a refrigerator so make sure that you all uh, bring a nice sized cooler not super large but you know just a nice size cooler to store uh, your drinks and things in you want to come with the cooler already iced up just because you have to send uh, them back and forth to get ice. They do not have ice on each floor. So that was the only bad thing about uh, this room. So if anyone from Chateau Alain is listening, please include refrigerators in each hotel room, even if it's the little small ones. We would just greatly appreciate it. If we get thirsty in the middle of the night, we can um, hop up and grab us a drink. That jet tub is humongous. It's big enough for two people to fit in, as you can see. And all the jets are down at the bottom of the tub. So it gives you a nice surprise once you get in on your bottom, right? <laughs> Here are some nice trinkets that come with the room. You get two bathrobes that have the Chateau Alain winery emblem, as well as some water and some nice uh, pieces of candy. And then there is the view that we have outside of our room and I did want to show you all in the next couple of frames that you get uh, two room keys they include important extensions and phone numbers on the back and I figured it was something that you all might want to see as well so here it is 
Hey y'all, we are in the room. This thing is gorgeous. I've been here before, like for other things, like a wine tasting. And I've actually been to the spa for a service before, but never an overnight stay. And I had no idea that they had a part of the spa where you could actually stay and uh, get massages and things. So they actually have suites. Um, in their spa building where you can get you know massages and facials and things like that um it's in the same exact building i thought it was a separate building and everything is in the building together and um once you when you stay overnight or you're overnight guests in the spa suite you can actually uh partake in a lot of uh the spa activities after hours so like you can use the pool you can use the hot tub uh i don't believe the sauna is open now just because of covid but um you can usually use the uh, sauna as well and you also get a complimentary glass of champagne when you check in as well so um we're just gonna relax a little bit and then we're gonna head and get our bags from the car and then we'll see what else the rest of the evening has planned hey y'all we are outside i love my hat we about to have a um a little picnic here we got our little baskets um y'all know i'm extra so i brought napkins um a cute little plate i'll sh definitely show you guys um the setup here in a little bit uh, a beautiful gorgeous view i'll show you guys in just a second here uh the view we're still setting up um as well and i'll do a separate video if you did uh want to know more about how to picnic out here at chateau amon <laughs> And um, they did provide us with this beautiful picnic basket full of food. Um, you can choose from different uh, ones. I believe they have three different types. But basically it's cheese. They have different types of uh, meats and things. So it's like a meat and cheese uh, tray type deal. And then they have, of course, um, some select fruits as well. from our uh, beautiful picnic that we had this afternoon. Um, we sat out, of course, in that beautiful uh, part of the vineyard there. And uh, we watched the sunset and everything. It was very romantic and cute. So if you plan on visiting Chateau Alain, um, that is definitely a cool spot to sit in and to have um, even some wine. If you don't even want to bring food out there and you just want a cool spot to sit at and watch the sunset, uh, that is a beautiful place to do it. And I will say, if you do decide to um, do that, um, if you don't want to sit on the ground, definitely bring chairs because they don't have any chairs um, in that part. And that's actually located where we sat at is behind uh, the Mark Bar, behind which the is. Main, behind the main winery. 
which is behind the main winery building. Uh, so if you are interested in that spot, that's where we sat at, um, is behind that building. We just walked back there. Um, there is a driveway to get back there, of course, um, but you can walk back there as well. I mean, plus you get to see the beautiful, you know, scenery of the beautiful vines and the beautiful uh, wine grapes growing off of the vines on your way back to that spot. Um, so as I said, we're about to go get some food and this room is so beautiful. I wanna be able to enjoy it. So um, we're gonna go ahead and bring our food back to the room. We have just got done eating our food and um, we're gonna go ahead and call it a night because we have our early morning jog. I told Corey I wanted to get up at the crack of dawn and jog and see the sun come up and everything. Um, so I'm not sure of the activities we have planned tomorrow. He's leaving everything a secret, a surprise, but I will bring you guys along for a majority of the journey. So good night, everybody. See you tomorrow. So here are some shots of the actual spa itself and everything that you will have access to when staying at uh, the spa overnight. And some of the things that you'll have access to that you'll see in the next few frames here is the workout room, the hot tub that you can access. Uh, the sauna was actually closed because of COVID. Um, you also have access to the pool, which you will see later on. And I just wanted to show you all around just a little bit. Um, they have the little uh, reception area that you saw there. Um, this is also um, a nice little lounge area that you can wait to get your massage. And then um, I did want to show you all some of the massage rooms. And don't worry, I filmed all of this before the spot even opened. That's why it's dark and you don't see anyone there. This is one of the couple massage rooms. So if you do plan on getting a couple's massage with your significant other, this is what your room would look like. Okay, so now we are headed to level one to what some would consider the basement. Um, there are additional service rooms down here as well as the pool. And I did want to highlight one particular room and this is the room that you will be getting the couple's romantic journey in. So uh, for this particular room, you will get side-by-side -side facials, the full body exfoliants, and the sweetest massages. And then as you can see, they have the jetted tub there where you can soak. Um, this room also comes with a bottle of champagne and uh, chocolate strawberries. And you will also be served lunch in suite. So I believe that's what those two chairs were for. And this is definitely something that I want to experience next time I come back. And I know you all are saying, well, why didn't you get a massage while you were there? Well, with it being COVID, you had to make reservations um, well ahead of time, especially the time we went was Mother's Day weekend. and Everything was already booked. Uh, so unfortunately, we were not able to experience that particular room. So make sure that you call ahead of time to make sure that uh, you can reserve your spot. And if you plan on staying at the spa, make sure before you book your room that you call ahead and make sure if if you plan on getting massages or other services uh, that they're available for the date that you want to stay. And I did want to show you all what you will be walking into um, as soon as you walk into the spa at Chateau Alain. And you have a nice sitting room and this is it off to the uh, left when you walk in. And then you will see right there, there's the receptionist desk and also the check-in desk if you plan on staying at the spa.
yeah so for right now we are just walking around kind of exploring seeing where things are um, getting uh, getting a handle on <laughs> where things are and kind of planning out our day today uh, we decided to walk down to these horse stables here um, from what I know uh, they are no longer in use but we just wanted to come down and kind of check out the scene here since we uh, still what have probably about another 30 minutes for uh, breakfast and stuff so um, I'll make sure that I give you guys a shot or a video of the horse stables. I did want to take a second to say if you are not interested in staying on Chateau Alain's property, they do have other nearby hotels. Um, in the center of this frame that you're about to see, the little peaks at the top, that's actually the Hampton Inn at Chateau Alain, and you can stay there, and it's a little cheaper than the uh, hotels that are actually on Chateau Alain's property. Good morning, property. everybody. It is almost, what, 8 o'clock? Almost 8 o'clock. Um, just for anybody getting started with Chateau Alain, if you just kind of want to get out and explore early, you can. Uh, but a lot of things don't open up till about 8.30 or 9 o'clock, um, just to give you all a heads up. So don't get up super early like I did, thinking that you're going to see a whole lot of, st of uh, stuff or try to get to things uh, before it gets crowded because everything doesn't open up till about 8.30 or 9 o'clock. Here's some views and some photos around the winery itself. If you would like a list of all of the wines that we tasted um, during our trip to Chateau Alain, I highly recommend um, these wines that are on this list that I uh, put together. We'll list them down in the description bar below. Okay, so I'm back. We are about to ride um, bikes down one of their trails. I don't know, we may do a trail or two. Uh, we just got done having uh, lunch dinner, if that's the thing. Um, we have dinner later, but you know, just like a little light snack. So yeah, I'll show you guys a little bit of the nature trail that we're about to go on and just stay tuned. Everybody. So we are back at the beautiful Chateau Alain winery. We are actually out here uh, just in the grass uh, enjoying ourselves. You can actually just uh, pop a spot and have a nice lunch or a nice picnic out here uh, right next to the wine grapes. Uh, so this is a perfect little spot actually. I like this spot. Um, sorry for the movement in my camera here. I'm trying to actually give you guys a view while I'm talking. <laughs> I love the view. I mean, the view is spectacular, as you saw um, in, in the earlier clips. Um, but I did want to, of course, give you guys some things that will help you all navigate, just with all my blogs. Um, I like to give you guys tips that uh, will help you navigate through uh, your stay at Chateau Alain if you decide to come stay. And honestly, I mean, I enjoyed my time. I love it here. Uh, we stayed uh, two days we leave tomorrow so let's get into these tips right my first tip is if you plan on getting outside food um, there is definitely a lot of restaurants to choose from um, there's definitely uh, grocery stores like Publix there's actually two Publix um, within 
five to ten minutes of the winery itself first tip would if you're planning on getting outside food and you're gps in it wait till you get off of the winery premises to either gps or google um, a lot of the food or just drive uh, directly off of the winery and when you drive off the winery if you're coming out i would say make a left and just keep going straight and you'll run into a lot of great options i mean there's longhorn uh, i believe there's i saw mcdonald's and um all kinds of things off of this exit to where back in the day <laughs> when um when the winery was here uh back when i went um some odd years ago you didn't have all of those options so you have a lot of new options now um, and they're still continuing to build uh down that way as well off of the exit my number one tip for that would be to wait till you get off of the winery to google or to gps it because when you're on the winery it's going to want to pull up things uh as far as food that are located on the winery and the main thing is to get uh if you want a cheaper option uh the main thing is to get off of the winery so um you want to make sure that um that's one of the things that you actually do or while you're here <laughs> a next tip would be if you are staying in the spa um, like we are there are no refrigerators so you want to make sure that you bring a cooler now um, if you do plan on having snacks and drinks in your room which is something that I highly recommend especially if you're like me and you get thirsty or you want something uh, to snack on at night um, it's definitely a good idea uh, to bring that but I want to say that you want to make sure that you fill it up with ice prior to getting here or they do have ice inside of the spa building but they only bring you a bucket of ice every time and I'm pretty sure you could get them to fill up your cooler um, but it's not like the hotels where they actually have the ice machines located on each floor um, they actually have somebody bring you an ice bucket uh, whenever you do request the ice and you just hate having to send them back 30 times to fill up your cooler right so it's a lot easier if you already come with your coolers um, iced up and you can just add that bucket uh, maybe every um, about four to six hours or so a day it's better to do it that way uh, than to come with a uh, totally empty cooler and have to send that person back a million times to go and get your ice for you okay so another tip i have when you are staying at um the chateau Alain, or you're just even coming to visit and you're coming to taste the wine or do the wine tastings at the winery now this is a big tip and definitely a big secret uh, when you are staying here uh, we found just through our research and just through kind of going around and asking for uh, different prices on things um, we actually found that uh, the wine as well as the champagne is about eight to about maybe thirteen dollars cheaper at the gift shop actually the gift shop that's located um, inside of the inn at Chateau Alain. Um, the gift shop that's in there, we found that a lot of the uh, wines and a lot of the champagne is about eight to $13 cheaper inside of there. So if you plan on buying a bottle or you're interested in a bottle of wine or a bottle of champagne, uh, definitely save that for the gift shop at the inn. You will be so thankful uh, to get them from there and save a few bucks, right? Cause we are all about bargain shopping <laughs> on this okay, channel. So Corey and I, uh, we've changed things up a little bit. You don't actually have to, um, especially if you um, are staying um, on campus, or I keep saying campus, but I mean, I guess you can call it compound campus or however you want to identify it, but, um, or the estate. Is that better to say the estate? <laughs> or if you're staying on the estate. Um, I thought that you had to drink all of the wines boom right then and there um, but as long as you have that paper and uh, you can take it back and go at your leisure and you can actually take your time because uh, Corey and I both got a wine tasting uh, chart and with the wine tasting that we got you get seven glasses a piece and I mean guys if you drink that back to back you will probably be falling over <laughs> by the third one uh, so we did space this out and we decided to come and sit in this beautiful uh, spot right behind the actual winery building itself make sure that I link every single wine that we've had so that way you can try it uh, these are actually my personal recommendations that I thought were fantastic so if you do come to Chateau Alain 
and you do go down uh, my list of wines, definitely let me know down in the comments below what you think about uh, my selection of uh, wines. If you're not going with a group of girlfriends and you are going with your husband or significant other, um, they give you enough wine in this glass for you guys to both taste out of the glass. So you actually, instead of seven choices, you actually can have up to 14 choices because it's seven a piece. So if you both, um, you know, uh, taste the wine out of each other's glasses, that's different wines that you have to choose from. So that is another little budget-friendly tip. So we are leaving the Chateau Alain now. We've had a beautiful, great, fantastic two days up here at the winery and at the spa. Um, just remember a lot of the tips and tricks that I uh, was telling you all about that will definitely help you um, have a smooth trip and a smooth transition um, over into uh, the spa if you decide to stay at the spa. Um, I definitely uh, highly recommend it. Uh, just make sure, like I said, with COVID, uh, that you definitely set your reservations um, and everything. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and even leave me a comment down below if you like what you saw in today's video. Um, if you have any questions, certainly let me know. Uh, for business inquiries, uh, make sure you email me at designwithmeashleyd at gmail.com. And I will see you all in my next video.